Okay, so it's now time to create your first working ML web application. Object detection is like the hello world of machine learning, but it's very powerful. This is the same sort of technology that powers smart devices around your home, like a Nest Cam or smart doorbell system. With what you learn in this lesson, you'll be able to create your own for free. So let's get started. For this exercise, you'll be following a Google code lab I wrote. So open this link in a new window and place it side by side so you can follow along. Once open, simply search for tensorflow.js using the search bar along the top of the screen. And you should then see there is a whole bunch of code labs for TensorFlow.js that come back. Look for the one that's called Make a Smart Webcam in JavaScript as shown and click to open it. If you can't find it easily for some reason, try searching TensorFlow.js webcam instead or go directly to the link shown at the bottom of this slide. You should now see a page that looks something like this. Pause the video and ensure this page is showing before you continue. I'll wait for you to do that. All right, so now you've got the code lab open, what are you going to make in this lesson? Essentially, you're going to take the Coca SSD pre-trained model to draw bounding boxes around common objects it can detect in a given image. Out of the box, it can recognize 80 common objects, and you can see a couple of those highlighted in the images here on the right. And with a little bit of creativity, you can take things one step further by using what you learn here today with your existing web development skills. For example, I've actually used the exact same model and turned it into a fully featured web app to make a smart pet webcam. Let's talk through the user experience of this app that I designed. First, the user can enable the webcam using the button shown. Next, they can select the objects they want to monitor from a dropdown, such as a dog and a food bowl. The app can then prompt the user to place their smartphone in front of the food bowl, which it automatically detects and starts to monitor that region. Finally, when a dog is also found in the image, the app uses some custom logic to see if the bounding box of the dog intersects with that of the food bowl, and if it does, an alert will be triggered to inform the user that the dog has been a naughty boy while they're out of the house. And as you can see, it actually works pretty well. The dog in this video is caught red-handed as he tries to inspect the bowl of food, which you can then use to send an alert to do whatever you wish once you know this event has occurred. So I want you to bear in mind as you go through this lesson, how you can take the knowledge you learn and turn it into something useful or novel that maybe solves a problem that you or someone else might have, just like this pet cam system did for me. Remember, with your existing coding skills, you could do pretty much anything. Maybe you could detect that your cat has arrived and send a command to a Raspberry Pi to release a treat when it's detected. It's completely up to you. Okay, so let's head on to the first part of the code lab. <laughs> 